please welcome the hilarious Marlon Wayans. <laughs> I love your um your your shirt. Thank you. The detail on the collar. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Y'all make y'all 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 making me feel like Sean up here. <laughs> I'm sitting there going, Sean here. Where you at? So you've been really busy. We were talking about the MTV South Africa um, MTV Awards yes. the other day because Chloe and French Montana were there. Yes. Now you hosted that. Yeah. I, it was a great time. Was that your first time hosting an award show? No, we ho I hosted the MTV Awards uh, years ago, but um, it, that was in America, and, you know, it, it was before I... <laughs> a lot different. Um, so going to Africa and doing it was awesome. I mean, it was an awesome experience just, you know, because our perception of Africa is so off. It's like they have buildings. I don't know if <laughs> they have buildings. <laughs> <laughs> People think they uh, have floors. I was telling my mom, I was like, Ma, they got floors. Like, upstairs, <laughs> downstairs. She goes, how many levels is their hut? I was like, no, Ma. <laughs> and, and so it's just misconception. So when you go there and you see, you know, and you see the people, and it's so beautiful, and it's all the, like, they're, they're so, their culture, the culture of Africa is just so awesome, and the women are beautiful, and the butts, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Now, are these big, big fake butts or big real butts? No, these are big, real, they ain't fake butts. These, <laughs> these are real butts. This is like, this is butt, butt. Now, is that, is that your face surrounded by butts? <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is my face uh, uh, surrounded by real African booty. That's motherland right there. Okay, See, mother. here's the thing. They have butts out there that make Kim Kardashians look like Miley Cyruses. It's oh. like, <laughs> I seen a butt so big, it had like seven moons around it. Yeah. <laughs> I, it was it was beautiful. I was just like, this is great. Now, did you get a chance to observe French Montana and Chloe backstage, like observe from afar? No, I actually hung out with them. They they were they're good, good, really good people, and it was good to see Chloe because uh, with French because Chloe is a very strong woman. Yes. And I think she and French is like Moroccan, but he Moroccan thug. You know. Okay. I, yeah, yeah. Sound weird. Don't let the don't let the curly hair fool you. Yes. And the light skin. You know, he got some thug in him. Yeah. So he's real like he he grounds her. It's like you know, hey yo yo. Yeah. Yeah. And, and she, <laughs> <laughs> he didn't say that. He just. Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> but we were saying that the other day on the show that she has admitted that she likes a strong man because she's so strong that she Every needs. Every woman wants a strong man. You don't want an abusive I... man. No, not abusive, but I would agree. I would agree. You... You don't, you don't want an abusive man because that's an insecure man. You need a strong man because a strong man, you could be all this, this, and that, and he could go, hey. <laughs> <laughs> and because, oh my God. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, bro. That's what I'm talking about. You, you just need that, you <laughs> yes, know? Yes, you know, you're <laughs> you right. want a push over. Now, do you have a cold? This is my first time seeing a, a guest come out with a full-blown washcloth. No, I sweat a lot. Uh, oh. It's just a thing. Black men in suits, it oh. makes you sweat. Have you ever seen a preacher? He always got one of these in his yeah, hand. Yeah, no, you're right about that. You're, you're right. You ever see a brother in court? <laughs> he always got one of these in his hand. You're right, you're right. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> so, now how are your kids? You have a boy and a girl, right? Yeah, I have uh, I got even shot. Um, yeah, I got an X, per, an X and a Y. Oh, look at my baby. Yes. Yeah. Now, yeah. how old is your girl? She's got my favorite accessory, a dimple mm -hmm. in the chin. Do you have that too? Yup. They both got, that's yep. how I know they're mine. Yeah. Otherwise, I wouldn't know that. <laughs> look, how old is she? My daughter's 14, and she's like, she's she's perfect. I, I love that little girl. She's she's just, Does I- Does she have I, an iPhone and-, and... Does she have an iPhone? That's her life. Her life yeah. is in her phone. Like, I, I started doing social media just to talk to her. Like, I, got, <laughs> I tweet her at the dinner table. Hey, how was your day? It was fine, Dad. <laughs> Does she tell you Twitter is still last year? The new thing is whatever it is? Well, yeah. No, Twitter, <laughs> Twitter is still in, at Marla Wayans. Follow me. Uh, uh -huh. Also, follow me on Instagram, at Marla Wayans. I got a lot of pictures. I'm going to do a selfie with you. And follow, okay. uh, like my Facebook, um, and I'll like you, too. It's Marla Wayans' fa uh, fan page. And then what's your son's name? How old is he? My son uh, is Sean. I named him after my brother. Um, and he's, uh, he's 12 years old. And my, but they're, they're just perfect kids. Like, my daughter, she's into boys, but she's into not boy boys, like, not real people. Like boy banders? Boy bands. Perfect. She loved the boy bands. I'm like, you're never going to get backstage, so right. it doesn't matter. Right, right, right. She loves One Direction, oh. but, but, but it's like all of them. I'm like, baby, you got to pick one. You can't. I like Lance. I like, no, Harry. No, you got to pick one. <laughs> yeah. I ain't raising no hoe. You pick one. <laughs> And, and, and what's your
What's your son into? Like, like most uh, boys, is he into sneakers? Is he into sneakers? Yeah, he plays ball. My son's a baller. He's nice. He's like, he's he's really. Yeah. <laughs> I, he's so good at basketball. I really question was he mine. I was just like, <laughs> he's better than me in six man and above the rim. And I'm just like, he's awesome. And he's into sneakers. Like that's his thing. Like he, yeah. I'm like, dude. And he wants me to buy these expensive sneakers. And I'm like, dude, you're a size seven. Your foot's gonna continue to grow. So I made a deal. <laughs> that's what I took him. He got all A's in school, right? Good for him. Because he was getting like C's and B's, and I was just like, you're better than that. I made a deal with him. If you do good in school, I'll buy you whatever sneakers you want. Wow. Yeah, that, that was great until I realized how expensive Michael Jordan's sneakers were. Yeah, hundreds. They're like $500 <laughs> a pop. And his guy gets all A's, so his sneaker collection is just crazy. I'm like, you gotta well, go back to being dumb, because I'm going broke. <laughs> So that it's a good thing that you have a new job to be able to continue to pay the bills. Yes. So tell us about this great new show. Now, you created this show. Yeah, I created I created most of my stuff because, you know, it's just the way my brother kind of raised us. It's, it's You know, you got to create because otherwise, as a black man, you will be waiting for Hollywood for a long time for that fall to win. <laughs> so I create, created the show. Uh, it's called Funniest Wins. And basically, it's a comedy competition reality show. And it's trying to find the funniest person in America. But I'm not just looking for a stand-up comedian. I'm looking for somebody that has 360, somebody that can do stand-up up, sketch, character, uh, viral videos, roasting. It's hard to be a comedian these days. You have to have so many different lanes that you, you cover. You have to. You can't just be a stand-up no more. You have to do everything because that's what the new generation, because of social media, because yeah. of, of internet, you have to do it all. So um, it, it's a good thing that these guys, I take them in this, it's like a, a, a boot camp, and I just challenge them to be funny every week. It's like a variety show, but a competition show. You gotta see it. It's absolutely hilarious and it's a great cast. Yeah, now, and then your brother is over at Last Comic Standing, yeah. Keenan, which is great. Um, I Everybody's just... like, are y'all competing? No, I love my brother. I would never compete with my brother. No. I would cancel my show just to not, if, but he ain't producing this one, so he gotta cancel it. If he, if he said don't do the show, you wouldn't have done it. No, well, I'm gonna you... get my money because we, oh. we, all, we all gotta pay mama's bills. But, here's <laughs> <the thing. laughs> but you know, I love my brother and there's never a competition. He's, my brother raised me to do this, yeah, so Keenan. he, Keenan's like the, my, my Yoda. You know? That's that's a nice thing to say about a sibling. No, it's not. He's green and little, but Keenan. <laughs> that, that, but no, that, that is no. But you've always you you and your brothers and your sister, you've always been consistent with the way you feel about Keenan. Yes. I think that that's really a sweet, endearing thing. Well, welcome back home. I know Thank our studio is in your old neighborhood. Yes, it is. This yes. is Chelsea. Right, hey, right, up, right up the it street. It changed a lot. It's so changed because back in the day it was the ghetto. Y'all don't understand. It was like before. It was like liquor stores. And, <laughs> you know, they had the dog, the mean dogs, the big ones. You know, pit bulls and Rottweilers and, and, and dinosaurs. It's, it's and upscale around. Here. Yeah, I seen a Starbucks. I was like, hey, what? <laughs> I, I, I can't even claim my gangster no more. <laughs> it's always nice to see you. I'm glad to hear about your new show. Everybody, you make sure to check Marlon Wayans out. His new show is called Funniest Wins. It's Friday nights at 10 o'clock on TBS. And also, check it out. Uh, me, Sean, Damon, and Keenan are going, going on, on the first comedy tour. ever Wayans Brothers tour. I know. Um, Hit me on Twitter, hit me on Instagram. It's a great show. Our first one is gonna be in Indio, California at Fantasy Springs Casino, and then we're gonna be over in Borgata in July. So you guys come out, it's gonna be a great That's show. That's a funny night. Yeah. Thank you, Marlon.